shocking developments in the Whitey Bulger case, the trial of the reputed Boston mob boss. On Thursday, a possible witness for the prosecution who was ready to testify was found dead. The causes are still being investigated, and ABC's Ron Claiborne has more on this story. This morning, a classic mobster mystery. All police know is that this man, Stephen Rakes, was found dead on the side of a road in a Boston suburb. No wallet, no identification, no signs of trauma. Police say it appears it may have been suicide. Rakes' friends say impossible. Do you believe it could be a suicide? I know no, you don't know. I don't. I don't. You this don't think so? This man was full of spirit. He was a happy guy. More fuel for suspicion. Rakes had been slated to testify against James Whitey Bulger, the reputedly ruthless former boss of the Boston mob, a man Rakes despised. Full of piercing eyes. She has no heart. She probably sleeps in an ice chest. That was just a few days ago. Rakes had been expected to take the stand to say that Bulger had threatened him in front of his daughter until he, Rakes, let him take over his South Boston liquor store and turn it into his alleged gang headquarters. He was very much looking forward to testify. On Thursday, prosecutors called their star witness, Stephen the Rifleman Flemmy, who admitted he was once Bulger's close pal and partner in organized crime. The two later had a falling out and are now bitter enemies. But today, the focus for many here is on the witness who was never called to testify and who will now never take the stand. And the Bulger trial resumes later today with Flemmy expected to take the stand and go into all the gory details about how he and Bulger allegedly ran their criminal empire. Yesterday, that session ended with the two men standing and glaring at one another and mouthing expletives that were not hard to decode.